What up guys, it's Josiah here, and today we're re reading chapter 4 of Viking Ship of the Sunrise. Um, chapter 4, Books of Wonder. The monastery had a st stone wall around it. Brother Patrick got, took, sorry, took Jack and Annie through the gate. Beyond the gate was a small church with a hanging bell. There was also a vegetable garden and six stone huts shaped like giant beehives. We'll, we grow all our own food, said Brother Patrick. Carrots, turnips, spinach, wheat, and beans. He led them to the entrance of the first hut. Jack and Annie peeked inside. A monk was pulling flat bread from a low stone oven. This is our bakery, said Brother Patrick. It smells good, said Annie. Come along, Brother Patrick said. He pointed to each hut as, as they passed. There, there are your sleeping quarters, he said. And that's where we spin our, cl our cloth. In here, we cobble our sandals. There, we carve our wooden tools. In each of the huts, Jack and Annie could see monks. They were busy spinning or cobbling or carving. Finally, Brother Patri Patrick came to the largest beehive-like hut. I've saved the best for last, he said. This is where we, we, where we do our most important work. He stepped inside. Jack and Annie followed. The hut was warm and peaceful, yet very alive. It glowed with the golden light of many candles. Monks sat at wooden tables. Some were reading. Others played chess. Best of all, some were writing and painting in books. This is our library, said Brother Patrick. Here we study math, history, and poetry. We play te chess, and we make books. Jack, said Annie. I think this is it. What? said Jack. Civilization, said Annie. Brother Patrick laughed. Yes, this is where civilization hides, he said, on top of our lonely island in in the sea. Oh, man, said Jack. I love this place. What kind of books do you make here, said Annie. Books of wonder, said Brother Patrick. We record Christian stories as well as the n old myth of Ireland. Myths, said Jack. Yes, said Brother Patrick. They were gathered from our old storytellers, the old women who sang the tales of long ago when people believed in magic. Wow, said Annie. Come, said Brother Patrick. Look at the, the look at the book of Brother Michael. He has worked on it his whole life. Brother Patrick led Ann Jack and Annie over to the old monk. The monk was painting a blue border around one of the pages in a book in a book. Michael, these two master librarians from far away would like to see your work, said Brother Patrick. The old monk looked up at Jack and Annie. His wrinkled face broke into a smile. Welcome, said Brother Michael, in a thin, shaky voice. Hi, said Annie. Brother Michael showed them the cover of his book. It was decorated with gleaming red and blue jewels. Then he turned the pages. Each was covered with fancy writing and delicate paint paintings in green, gold, and blue. I wish I could paint like that, said Annie. It's beautiful, whispered Jack. Thank you, said Brother Michael. How how do you make a book like this? asked Annie. I write on sheepskin and use goose quill pens, said Brother Michael. My paints are made of earth and plants. Wow, said Annie. Show Michael what you're what you are seeking, Brother Patrick said. All right, said Jack. He pulled out the, the paper Morgan had given them. He showed the Latin writings to the old monk. Brother Michael nodded. Yes, he said with a smile. I know that one quite well. Brother Michael turned the page he had been painting with a blue border. He he po he pointed to the writing at the top of the page. Oh man, whispered Jack. The words were Serpent's Magna. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was chapter four of Viking Ship of the Sunrise. Leave a like, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys!